Welcome to Charter Local Edition. My name is Brad Pomerantz. We are at the National Faith Leaders Conference in Irvine, California. It is my supreme honor to introduce you to the Bishop of the Diocese of Orange. His name is Kevin William Vane. I thank you so much for joining You're us. Welcome. It's thank Van you. or Vane? Van. Van. Because I'm not Vane. Yeah, exactly. Hope. No, we Van. hope not. And I thank you for joining us, Bishop Van. And it's hard to ignore the absolutely majestic, glorious visit of Pope Francis to the United States of America. People of all faiths yes, yes. were completely taken by him. And I know you were there. I was. I want to hear about your trip, sir. And in the context, I was with a thousand people from Orange County that made the trip out oh there. My, how I got chills just I, yeah. you saying that. And we had a separate celebration for them in the midst of all that. Tell me about this man, whom you know, by the way. I've met him twice before. Tell me about him. Is he what he appears to be as loving and uh, uniform as, as he comes off? Yeah, I, I, shortly after he was elected, I was in Rome with Archbishop Gomez, right. who is a close friend of mine sure. up in L.A. And so we went uh, to a mass with it. We met him in, at his residence one morning. And so I spoke to him in Spanish. and. At a uh, at a yes, of course, he's had, Argentinian. He's Argentinian. had a brief right. encounter with him, but he was very warm and very friendly. And then I went to Rome, the, I think the following right. year, and wrote and asked his secretary if I could come to his morning mass, which he celebrates for a lot of different folks. I see. And so I got a fax back the day I left saying, yes, please come. So again, I explained to him that I was from Orange County, that this was south of Los Angeles, that I was a friend of Archbishop Gomez. His first words were always, please pray for me. Uh, and I heard he said that to, I think it was Speaker John Boehner, after he gave a speech to the United States Congress. And at the end of the big mass in Philadelphia, where mm -hmm. like 600,000, he says in English, don't forget, pray for me. So yeah, that's a real theme through his whole life. And I think it's, that's kind of our obligation to remember to do that. Uh, I would presume. And I presume he knows at some level that Orange County has one of the largest Catholic populations in California, if not the nation. I know that, that Archbishop Gomez explained that to him, and I did a little bit of that with him. Right. Was, so he has some knowledge of that. Also, of the well, tell us about it, by the way. I mean, it's bigger than some states, yeah. the Catholic population. The, 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 the geogra geography of Orange County is 730 square miles. Right. Territory, not much. Right. But it's about 3 million people, and of that, Catholics are about 1,300,000. Over th about a third. About a third, yeah. Masomenos is more Exactly, Masomenos. Yeah. So being the spiritual leader of that flock, and being their representative, if, you, if I may say, sure. as you visited the Pope in, was it Philadelphia or in New York or D.C.? Where did you well, go? Well, I went to, I went to uh, D.C. first. Right. Oh, you. Yeah, and then I went to Philadelphia. I didn't go to New York. Okay. So, so I was gone a week. So ta tell me about how that was to kind of be their emissary, if I can say. Well, you know, as a pastor, I learned over right. the years, one of my life as a pastor, you, you really bring everybody of with course, you. Of course, of course. Uh, not physically, but certainly right. spiritually. Right. So when I was there praying with him at all those masses and meetings, I just brought with me all the goodwill of the folks here. And you right. know, the day I left the flyer, I was at John Wayne Airport. Yes. And then I stopped at DFW to right. change planes. And I love that airport because I know everybody there. You had been the bishop in Fort Worth. Seven and a half years. Right. So people I knew would stop me and say, please tell the Holy Father. I said, right, hi, right. we're grateful he's coming. We're praying for him. So you have all those greetings. Of course. In addition to the 1,000 people in Orange County that went with me that were at all the masses and functions as well. I want to get a sense from you about this trip and compare it, if I may, to visits of prior popes. Sure. You know, from where I sit, from where I stand, this trip seemed like quite a home run. Yeah for this pope. I was much younger when Pope John Paul II visited. You know, I think this pope was, you know, th that was the best trip of all because it's today and of course. But do you give us a, a kind of a comparison of, of recent trips, you know, in modern times yeah. of popes to the United States of America? You used a good word, home run. Right. You really did because that was the sense of everybody there. Mm. And of course, my context was that I knew Pope John Paul II when he came to, to Chicago years ago. I was sure. a seminarian. Right. And just this the sense in the, uh, in downtown Chicago, the folks on the streets praying and singing. I mean, right. that was a wonderful thing. I remember, and then as a young priest, I went to Rome to study. I was sent right away. Wow. And I saw John Paul II out all the time, visiting all the parishes in Rome in addition to everything else. Working with you, being with youth, because he was always kind of a model for right. me. So I had some of the same sense of this, but you say, well, like now, because my memories were of years ago. Of course. So uh, people would ask me to, to tell them, I said, hello, 
And that's just the mood on the streets in Philadelphia and in Washington. Uh, for example, I came with uh, a member of, of one of the tribes in San Juan Capistrano because what was asked for was that a member of each nation from the different California missions meet the Holy Father oh personally. My. So we had a fellow, we have a man who's a priest who's from Juan Capistrano. So he came with me and we arranged for him to meet the Holy Father and I was visiting with him. And so he went and went to the big canonization mass. So that alone. And then it was also combined in Philly with the world meeting of families right. where you had more people from all over the world. So he had everybody up and down the streets in Philly singing and praying in their own languages, getting ready to meet the Pope. And I was with our seminarians and I taught them how to sing California, here I come on the streets of Philly. Fantastic. So there was that, that sense of jubilation and joy getting ready to meet him. I, I want to talk about a decision the Pope made that some saw as nothing short of inspiring. He was invited to um, have lunch with the Washington DC elite. But what did he do? He went to a prison. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that, that decision, and what it means, what, the, what you believe the message he intended to send by visiting. Well, I would say that mm -hmm. he, sends, he, he thinks and prays like being a pastor, and when you're being a pastor, you have to be with everybody. Mm -hmm. But he, like many of us, spend a lot of time ministering in prisons. Right. Uh, one of my experiences in prison ministry, the, the inmates thanked me for remembering them. So I think he, as a pastor, he wanted to go with folks who couldn't get out and couldn't come to assure them of his love and God's presence and in their I, life. I remember reading, I don't know if he did it during this trip, but in some trips to prisons, he's washed prisoners' feet. You know, I, I don't mean, know. Is, yeah. <laughs> could you imagine being a prisoner yeah, and the Pope is yeah. washing? I, I, I could start crying. Oh, sure. About it. Yeah, I yeah. don't know all the details. I know yeah. that when I go to prisons, I usually take time and visit with everybody yeah. and listen to them and pray with them and anoint them. And yeah. He may have done that. I don't know all the details. But, but even, he spent time with them. It. I mean, just the thought that he is, the, the dignity that he is offering the flock. Well, sure, because those folks are, they can't come out. They're, right. you know, they're behind walls as it were. So he wanted to go to them to assure them that I think they were remembered and cared for. And I also must ask you about his it seems to be almost singular focus, and I say this with all intent, you know, positive intent, on those that are needy. It does feel as if this pope is really focused, unlike other popes, again, much is my perception, on the poor, on poverty. Yeah, I would say we have to look at his background, having been in Argentina right. where he ministered, uh, how he viewed his life as a pastor, bringing the good news to the poor. I mean, that's kind of. Right. Part of our job description, as it was John Paul II, who did a lot of that too, but they didn't get the coverage. Right. So is this more coverage, or is, is this really the part of his papacy? And I say that again with, with positive intent. You know, I think you made a good point. We're focusing now. This is what we're seeing now. I, it right. always has been the case one way or another, but we're seeing actually seeing it lived in front of us. Tell us more about this wonderful diocese in which we sit in today in Orange County. I'd say Orange County is like the whole world is here, basically. Yes. You know, and that, I love that. I love being with different uh, ethnic races and, and, yeah. and folks. You know, we have a large Filipino population yes. here. Yes. So I just got back from a week in the Philippines. So there was a Filipino lady here, so I said, Mahal ko kayo to her, uh, that I right, learned, right. which means I love you, I think is right. what it means. And I understand, um, we know there's a large Vietnamese population in this community, and there are Vietnamese Catholics, indeed. This is... I think, my right. knowledge, here in Orange County, the largest concentration of Vietnamese population outside of it, Vietnam. It is, yes. Uh, and so I've, you know, I've had a chance to experience Tet and New Year and the, and, the, and the flower market in Westminster and to go to all our parishes and learn some uh, Vietnamese for Mass and I, New I Year and all those things. I want to thank you for joining us. I'm honored to have met you. Thank you. And I am so glad that you had the opportunity to be with the Holy Father I, in his wonderful. recent trip. He is the Bishop of the Diocese of Orange. His name is Kevin William Van. My name is Brad Pomerantz. This is Charter Local Edition.